Hello, Pioneers. Welcome back to episode 16 of Slug Inc. with Nico Gaiman. I'm going to be doing a turbo fuel uh, power plant. We have a few key recipe alternates that we've unlocked. Um, earlier on, we have uh, heavy oil residue alternate here where it makes a good bit of heavy oil residue bit of polymer resin. We're going to be using diluted fuel. Um, how do we get back out of here? I'm trapped. <laughs> Can we just do fuel? There we go. That's what we need. Um, here's the Blender alternate we'll be using. Using heavy oil residue with water to dilute the fuel. And we will also be using the another blender recipe for the turbo fuel. This one here. And turbo blend fuel. We'll utilize our diluted fuel. Some of the heavy oil residue. We'll also be using some of this to make petroleum coke. Then we'll uh, be bringing in the sulfur. That's the only thing not on site we'll be using to make the turbo fuel. Here's the oil node we're using. I've decided uh, I did the math. I'm not going to quite use all of this if we overclock this all the way at 600. I could. I'm just going to be lazy. I'm going to have uh, 17 blenders running at 100%, which won't quite utilize all that. There's not enough for 18. Um... Not enough for 18 blenders, it's like 17. I forget what the breakdown was, but I'm just gonna round down a little bit. Yeah, it's fine, it's a few less things to create. Uh, there's gonna be a lot. We're gonna have, we're gonna have 191 uh, generators, 192, and then one over underclocked a little bit, so. I haven't decided we're not going to need a ton of water extractors, but I do kind of want to build it over here. When we're looking out from the base, it'll be a uh, main thing you see. You know, this might be too high, it seems. Um, let's lower this a bit. Well, that's not on the ground. Let's see here. Don't want to use a one meter. It's good to use a two or a four when you're starting a spot. The ones are a little wonky sometimes on certain things, so occasionally I do it and it's not a problem. Occasionally it is. Um, occasionally I forget to do it. Well, this is a two meter, that's fine. I might do... Let's just do this. Let's stop being lazy. I think this will be low enough. Hopefully. Don't allow this to peek through. I'm in the way. Okay. So I think we're sending it off this way. That's right. And then we'll make a little path out towards here. Now I don't know how high this is going to be. Need it. I'm just gonna do some a uh, few water extractors out here. So let's see. Do we want to do it off a? Uh, let's do it off an edge here. Or if this stuff will get in the way, we could chainsaw that. I think. I don't know. It's kind of out of order. That should clear it out. This might be too shallow. I think that'll be too shallow. Let's see. I didn't plan on bringing stuff for these. We're not going to be able to make enough. Let's get it close. I don't know how far in here we can go. Right there. I think I need more rotors for one. Should have grabbed some. Yeah, I'll just grab 
grab some later. I don't want to make them. Okay. So we really just want to be above here. We don't need to be much higher than that. I think I'm just going to build this up like crazy. As we go. Let's find out if this is... Uh, That should be fine. So we may do that as our level. Level one, level two. First floor up. Um, and then I haven't done the sorting out on what, um, how much space we need here. There's going to be 24 refineries, four of those kind of separate off, and we might even do another seven for the polymer resin. And then we're going to need um, 17 blenders. So we're going to need some room here. None of that is really small. Chasing me. Um, so yep, just starting it off like this. I think we'll fill in this outer edge with the glass foundations. Kind of got to do one off to the side first. Go against it. Um, we'll do the glass on the outside edge here, and then I'll fill in the just some concrete pads in the middle. We'll just do one by ones here. I don't know, we could blueprint it. We don't have refinery blueprint, nor blender, so there may be something to set up. Okay, there we go. Once you lock the first one in, it should be easy to go to blueprint mode and create some space, so. Let's figure out exactly what we need before I kind of make some edges on these other sides. Yeah, I'm not going to make a refinery blueprint. We'll just lay these out. Um, Got to figure out some uh, piping here for the water and oil. And bring it in on this corner. Probably run it down that way. We'll save the water for later. Might pipe it in somewhere else. All right. This is kind of off center, so I'm going to double that. And... You know what, if we make power out here, that'd be nice. Then we could use our uh, hover pack, which would make building a lot easier. So I'll probably do that as well. It's a nice view from out here. And from the headquarters, it'll be a nice big, ugly power plant. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going to pop out some signs so I can show you the math we're doing. Um, might just do it down here. So, I'll catch up with you when that's done. And I'll show you what we're doing. And hope I might go up there and start doing a little bit of stuff. So, we'll see you in a bit. All right, we're back. Uh, I just made a bunch of signs to plan this out. I kind of done the planning earlier. I hope I got this right. We'll see. Now, we could overclock this to 600, but I'm not going to quite do that much. We're going to get this to, so we could go 600, uh, oh, I just had it, I closed that window, it's over here, 5, 7, 5, 7, 3, 7, 5, so we're not going to quite use the full potential, but there we go, 239.06, blah, 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 okay, we're making our turbo fuel power plant. Most of the machines are going to be up here, and then we'll probably have another floor or a few floors with the uh, generators. I think we'll do it that way. It may change. So, that's the crude oil overclocked. It's a pure node. Um, this is going to make a lot of heavy oil residue. We're using an alternate uh, heavy oil residue. I think I just showed that earlier. Uh, this one. 
which makes some polymer resin, but 30 makes 40 heavy oil residue, 20 resin. So this will actually be a little less. I didn't account for that yet. Um, anyway, I'll do that later. So 19.125, we could even do the math right now. Like, uh, Actually, it's 20 made by each one. So if one's underclocked at 12.5, 382.5, which would change the... Uh, shoots that up a little we'll mess with that later we're not sure if we're going to do plastic or just sink it this is what we're after 765 heavy oil residue it's going to three different locations diluted fuel blenders petrol coke refinery uh all the remainder is going to the main turbo turbo fuel production um so these are the same splits one two seven five that's 510. This, going to the petrol coke refineries, we'll have four, three, and one underclock quite a bit. Uh, making petrol coke, 382.5 a minute is what we need. Uh, the next chunk of heavy oil residue going here to make diluted fuel and blenders. Uh, 2.55 blenders, so essentially three, one at running about half. We'll need 255 water, three, one of them mainly underclocked, and that'll make uh, 255 a minute diluted fuel. We need to bring in, I think we're going to drain in the sulfur, 382.5 a minute, it's the same as the petrol coke ratio. And then those will, we'll probably have the refineries with the petrol coke ones real close by then the blenders for diluted fuel then the blenders for the turbo fuel this is where we bring everything together these are at the same ratio the petro petroleum coke and sulfur uh, the diluted fuel the heavy oil residue 17 blenders running at 100 percent each making us 765 a minute turbo fuel which the fuel generators use for, for a minute when it's turbo fuel in there. So that'll be 191.25 generators, 192 generators, which is going to be a lot. <laughs> a lot of setting up and uh, piping them in and everything. But that'll give us 26, 28.6 gigawatts. 28,687.5 megawatts, so it'll be a lot of power. And I was just kind of planning this at, it's the evening, I'm going to bed after this, but let's get a uh, ramp up here. We're going to probably leave this sign so we can reference it tomorrow. I need to go grab another bit of rotor so I can make one more of these. I'm not sure where we'll... Uh, pipe these up just yet, so I'm going to wait on that. We will want to pipe the fuel up right away. Might do a column here. Run it up that, I don't know. But uh, 20 refineries for the initial crude coming in. That's what we'll need, so I could even, I mean I've got the materials to Set these out, but I'm not sure exactly. We want it a little bit out. We may even do a buffer here for the crude oil. Probably don't need to, but uh, we don't have enough plastic. I'll take up a bit of space. Let's do the uh, let's do the refineries here. Maybe I should make a uh, blueprint, but I don't know. They vary some of them. Liquid and solid input and output. And it's not always the same. Alright, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Keep 
going out here. I think so. Almost done. 16, 17. Hopefully I counted correctly. No. We need one more. You can tell because the recipe on the right I had saved. Added four of these for petroleum coke. We have a few pads here. down on this end. I don't know if that's the best. Maybe I should plan it out. I want to leave that end open for water so we can send a bunch. Uh... Let's see. I'm not sure how much room we'll need. A little bit of space. We can move this around before we finish building everything out. Get an idea with the space. There you go. One more. Some petroleum coke there. And then I don't know if we have enough for blunders at all. We'll need three down here for the diluted fuel. Can I build one? And so these are going to take a lot of radio control units, uh, which would be nice to set up production for. Even if I don't do a full-on production, maybe I'll use the uh, manufacturer up top to just keep cranking those out, dumping some materials in. I think I'll do that because I don't want to hand hammer a ton of these. Because that's down here for diluted fuel. We're going to need 17 upstairs, so 20 total. That's 100 control units. So, um, before we cut off, just to browse this again. Now we could add seven more refineries there. Might be six after we cut it down a little, but if we want to for the plastic use up that polymer resin, which actually might be smart. And, uh, we could even sink it at first and then hook it into these later when we're ready to get it going. I don't know. Let's see how many more we can make on refineries. That's four, five, six. Might need seven. And then uh, could do four here for petroleum coke. And fit three blenders in here, no problem. I think that's what we'll do. So, can I get an overview of things? Let's try to go fly above all this stuff. So that's probably roughly what our footprint will be. We may add another uh, spacing out there a little bit. Expand it out some. Anything good in here? to listen to these, so that's why I collect them. Maybe when 1.0 comes out, if we still play this save, it'd be nice if those are still saved, the ones I picked up. Anyway, let's get a nice float above here. There we go. So that's the start. Probably four more refineries, three blenders. We'll go upstairs from there for the 17 blenders, unless we want to add it out there, maybe. Um, not sure what we're going to do yet. We could add it out there. It's going to take up a lot of spaces. Blenders are a little bit wide, I would say. So Anyway, that's a start. I'll come back when I've grabbed a bunch of materials. Let's go ahead and add the refineries also. 
maybe even uh, a couple of these. Maybe three of those. We could do one for the crude coming up, one for the water, one for the heavy oil residue. Probably don't need them, but it never hurts to have little buffers on them, especially the uh, heavy oil residue we definitely want a, a buffer on. Just because we're going to be making a lot, we want to make sure that it's not going to waste. And it's all there to utilize. So Here's a rough look of how it might go. and I'm probably getting off tonight, so it'll be seconds for you when you see me next. I'll check you out then. Bye. All right, stopping back in here. We've made a blueprint for the blender for turbo fuel specifically. Got it color coded fuel, heavy oil residue, sulfur, petroleum coke, the red for turbo fuel, and then it coming out the back. Uh, running the pipes down the sides. We'll see if this works or not. Hopefully, it's not an issue. Just feeding up through floor holes. Got the sulfur and petrol coke conveyors with lifts. And then the piping going out. So, uh, this is pretty much the same block we've been using for all. I raised the power beam up, removed the backwalk, same as the manufacturer on this part. So, I think we'll use this for now. Might not be perfect. I don't know if I like the color coding a ton. Possibly we change it back later, so I don't know. It's all right. We're going to go with it for now, so we're going to go ahead and save this. We'll need 17 of these, so it'd be nice to just plop these down. Unlike the other blueprints I have like these, there's no foundation on the bottom here. So we can just stick these directly on the pads we already have out there. So we're going to go ahead and save this, and then I might actually create one for the diluted fuel. We're only going to need... Um, three of those, but eh, maybe we'll do one also just to have them look a little nicer. Uh, blend out turbo fuel. Lifted. I might do this. Uh, I can't pick it there. Let's do a red color. Make it obvious it's turbo fuel. Maybe we'll put this under now. Let's save that. And then, yeah, I might do a diluted fuel, which would just be mostly just fuel and water. So I'm just kind of delete the lips out, maybe change the colors a little. So I'll probably do that before we go, and uh, I'll s catch up with you when we start planting these. I did raise the beams compared to the other ones. This is a lot taller. I still might not cover the top of it. Yeah, I think we do. Okay, so that's a start there. We'll be laying these out a little later. See ya. All right, I'm back briefly. That didn't take any time at all. We just pulled the lifts off, uh, made this one a uh, diluted fuel. Fuel coming out, heavy oil, water coming in. So as basic as that. Um, the water's 100. A minute, so the fuel oil coming, which is fine. This will feed that okay. Then I'm doing the MK2 to have 600 for the down the lines. I'll just have to make sure if I have more than 600 on anything, I'll have to adjust that. But just thought I'd show that real quick. Diluted fuel. Okay, catch up with you later. All right, popping back in here. We have. Not a ton done, we added those three diluted fuel. Um, let's see what else I've got. I got all the machines actually set to the recipes. Went through and underclocked the ones we need to. I like to do them on the kind of the first initial ones you'll see. Um, and then put a sign just so I don't forget. And make sure you actually change it. <laughs> so we got this one underclocked. Those two will be at full capacity. Uh, connected the pipes in there. Got a uh, buffer here for the fuel. Um, let's see. Down at the petroleum coke end. 
Get this one underclocked. These will be at full. Um, I'm probably... We're going to be making a lot of heavy oil residue, like seven something. It's over 600, so the MK2 pipe isn't going to be able to hold all of it. So I think we'll put some here, put some here, have them get used on the coke and the diluted fuel, and then kind of either send them back uh, off to the other final blenders in separate lines. Maybe we merge them together if we can. I'll have to check the math. I think it only needs five something, so I think we can merge them together to go up. Um, then we have these. These are going to take the polymer resin off these. We're going to do everything underneath this. Keep it cleaner because we're going to have to have pipes here too. Um, these will need water pipes in, which I haven't accounted for the water for these. We've got one underclocked. These other six will be at 100%. We'll make a decent bit of plastic. Um, let's see, 20 water. So 120. What was this? It's 127.5 water we need for these alone. So I probably need another, at least one more extractor. Um, and we'll use this water line to feed the diluted fuel pipe here, and then we'll do a pipe in going for all these plastics. Uh, I need to pipe all the heavy oil residue to these two. Uh, pipe it into the petroleum coke. Get the crude piped in here, and then all the way down. And then I'm trying to determine kind of how much space we want to use. We might keep this blank for later. It's nice to leave some space. Um, considering how big these are, I've got them taking up the whole blueprint block, so we're going to need 17 for the turbo fuel blend. So yeah, we might go upstairs for that. Or we could even do like a few down here, maybe the rest up. I don't know. Would you look at that? Hello, Mr. Slug. Keep seeing these yellow ones out here. Should go grab them. Anyway, that's how we're looking at the moment. Uh, I'll probably wall this off also. I want to start kind of hiding away some of this stuff. Oh, we're out of concrete. Um, then I think I'll go with this level. Not 100% sure yet, but we're going to have to belt everything together here. So the petroleum cokes here will gather and take those up for the blenders. So we'll probably go up here and then up again. All of these polymer resins are just going to come over to input these ones. Might do like a storage container too to buffer it. And then we'll have all the uh, exit output ones making plastic and... Uh, no, we'll probably do a sink in a storage container before that sink overflow. Don't really need it in any production at the moment, but nice to have. And I'm getting probably a little less than halfway through my plastic there, which will run out eventually. We need it for manufacturers and stuff. So, so yeah, we'll bring this floor off. Cover. I don't know if we'll do the whole span. Probably. Just to make it consistent. We can kind of cut it off here before these. I don't know. Need to make some more of these. So. We're making progress. Oh, here we go. Losing all the frames for a save. Making progress. Um, upping our water for this. We should do a little game plan of that. Let's see here. I need some something here. Let's see. 
this is different because we have 382, 6.375. So. that okay excuse me excuse me mr. bean so that's gonna go let's see on this side this one. Oh, I should really get the hover pack and some power over here what did we determine on water? One of these is going to have a lot of extra not used, so we might be able to utilize a good chunk of that, but I think we do need more still. I feel like I just did this math a moment ago. 127.5, that's right. Okay. So, I mean, one extractor is 120 at 100%. Question mark. Need one plus uh, pull from other. Okay. Yeah, because this will be at 12.5. That'll be a lot of extra we can use. We just need 7.5 over. Um, and what are we doing here? We're doing this. Poly resin and some water. We're doing that. We're making plastic. How much? Plastic. Uh, let's go look how much real quick. Don't have to do this stuff, but I like it. It's nice when you need to reference things later. We make a better uh, entrance to that. So it'll be under clock. Twenty on the normals. It's gonna be the same as the water. 127.5. Let's go put that in. Okay. Here we go. So now it's kind of just a matter of starting to pipe up a bunch, get the belting under here done. Pipe these all together and then plan for where the uh, 17 blenders are going to go. Uh, we could try putting them here and just like rows of a few. I don't know. Don't have enough stuff. Just trying to lock onto that. I don't know. I think taking it upstairs might be better. We also need to start keeping in mind a plan for sulfur coming in. I don't know if we'll train it. We might do a train, I don't know. We could do like a little thing underneath here. I don't know. So that's something to kind of think about. It's not a huge deal, but we need to remember to do it. So. Anyway, that's where we're at for now. I don't know on these uh, buffer locations. I think we'll probably go with that. We'll see. These will need pipes in, pipes out. Neither of these will have pipes out. It's just the solid products. So I don't know. This feels like a bit of wasted space, but we'll see. See how we can figure it, so. Got some decisions to make. 
Another thing I'm definitely going to need to do is we're not going to have enough power to get all this up and running. So we are going to use the uh, node over here, I think. I'll set it up the same as the little f fuel power plant like this one, and then we'll just keep keep all the machines running it on our main uh, main circuit, and then I'll have the power off the fuel generators just separate so they don't feed into the rest. I'll send them over here. We might even do a, a battery bank. Help build up a little charge before we get ready to get this going, because this is going to be a lot of power draw. We're going to have to get all these going. Um, could save a little power if we pull all the polymer resin and just sink it but instead of turning these on. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this, these are 30 megawatts. We got what? 24 plus 7? <laughs> 9.30. This will be underclock, so use a little less. Some of those will be slightly less. 75. I mean, this could be a lot of power. We haven't even got to the final blenders yet. Plus this node overclocked will probably draw a good bit too. Let's see. So, just another thing to consider is having some power. I made a cheesy little parking lot here. It says 40 right now, but I guarantee you this is more. Let's see if that make it show. I probably have to hook it in. We should check that out though, because that's going to be a lot of power. Um, okay, well, let me get some, just some more done here and a little bit of everything. Catch up with you when I start making some progress. See ya. All right, stopping in briefly. Um, we had this old 10 by two by five, you know, 10 storage column of batteries. It's kind of sloppy and ugly. Plus you can link them together. To, I guess we did have them like that. But anyways, we made a nice little building. It's got 25 in it. Uh, so that's a good little blueprint to have. Then we got one stacked here and kind of offset. I just moved the uh, final out wire here to line back up. So that building will give us 5,000 megawatts power storage. I think we might do another one uh, right here. We could even do these single story. Maybe do one more. I don't know. But, uh, I kind of want to do that, let it charge when I, fi I finish building. I put this here, but it's not connected anywhere yet. Um, let it charge while I'm building, and then hopefully I can just utilize a lot of that to run some stuff just to get stuff going. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. But that's about all I did. Didn't really need to box it in, but I haven't really done much actual building, so... Give a little flare with some windows, steel walls, concrete. And then just uh, twisting it 90 degrees on this just gives it a little differentiation. And the power thing was over here, so I just deleted it. Strung a wire inside across to there. Anyway, wanted to show that briefly. I wonder if this will show. 5,000 megawatts, so if we can get in a decent little bit. If we do another one of these and have 10,000, I think that'd be enough to run a lot of this while we let it get going to build up power for itself. So. But long ways away, I'll uh, cut out here and uh, figure out the next steps. But I think, yeah, that, I think that's what we'll utilize this space down here for. Maybe a couple more of those. So I'd kind of like to square this off here. And we'll run the uh, frames and the glass around this outside edge 
finish that last square too. And then build up. I don't know if we want to keep the power tower there, but these refineries are pretty tall, so I think that might be fine. And we'll just probably make sure we're above those and these on the next level. Just might need a decent bit of pumping up on a few things, but that's fine. All I need a pump is, we don't need water up, we just need the f fuel and the heavy oil. And then the other stuff will just be solids on a conveyor lift, so. it's another thing I could think of is figuring out a spot for where we want to bring those up. Another thing I did was on uh, just one floor of the copper plant, I was messing around. I may change my uh, floor pans a bit like this, so I don't know how I, I feel like I was, it's a different level in there, but what if we do this? Might even be one less. Let me try that real quick. Might change some of my designs. I kind of want to make these a little nicer. So what I'm thinking is delete a bunch of these on these blueprints. And the problem is this floor, okay, it looks fine here, but it'll be Z fighting, texture fighting, like you just saw it there, I think. It's the kind of thing that'll drive you crazy when you see it happening all around. And then what I'll do is get rid of this. Do it right on the edge here. So that would cover the texture fighting. Um, and what I can do is do a uh, anything I want here, but like we could even do little pioneer paths or something if we want. We could change this to a brighter color besides black on black, but. Oh yeah, that won't look great, but what, what I was going to use was, in the other place, I did the half. Maybe just have it lined up like that. And just go down the row. See the texture fighting as we're up in the air. It looks so bad. Like that. The flickering will drive you crazy after a while. So, this is kind of pointless stuff, but I just wanted to show you some things I was thinking of. And then what we can do is like build these up. I wouldn't mind still having a little bit of a like one meter lip right there. Could even go all the way up. And then just kind of gives you a little quicker easy access here. We could also do stuff like uh, section these off. work on everything, but kind of give you clean room looking stuff. I don't know. I'm in the middle of trying to build a power plant, I'm distracted thinking of uh, random design ideas. So. That might look good, some, something like that. I just kind of want to hide away the under stuff more and then have this easily walkable. I mean, we could even go up right to the level. We could get rid of the catwalk if we want. I kind of like having it there. Now we've got more issues. Oh, that wall's right there. Anyway, we could tweak that, but getting off track again here. What else is now? Uh, we could even do some Foundation ceilings, I don't know. Anyway, just some ideas. Not anything we should be worried about, but kind of looks cooler in my opinion. Also think I want to change the blue. Using the same blue as this plastic. So we might change the water blue to like a lighter blue. So anyway, I, I I'm gonna get going. I'm <laughs> Distracted, build a nice battery bank, and I 
lost track of things. See you later. Alright, stopping back in. Doing a lot of kind of designing and other stuff. We have hooked up some things. We're definitely not done yet. But our bottom floor is pretty flushed out. Uh, we'll just kind of set the level for the second floor. Um, so let's go to the beginning. Show you what we've done. Using the patterns a bunch. We've got our oil hooked in. Do this nice kind of rounded ones. We've got these round ones here and this sort of design with the concrete pillars, the small metals, and then these frame foundation. And then kind of this at the base. I might recreate this on all four corners, I'm thinking. Then we did a little design stuff here. Double ramps, inverted ramp, and then just ramp wall, the steel ones. So I think we'll go with that design. Got our water set up here. This one down on the end is underclocked. Got it going straight up there. MK2 pump. Oh, we also got the conveyor floor done here. Can show that real quick. I do still need to. Uh, I'm having trouble getting around. So I've got the polymer resin on these end ones up high, so it's out of the way of this. These all merge down this way. The ones from that end come into here. This feeds it out. They're just going directly into the refineries making plastic with the water. Plastic comes out on this side, goes down here. Losing frames on the save. Then I need to set up like a container and a sink or some way to get that back. I may also put some uh, windows or something down here, I don't know yet. Kind of make this a little enclosed room. Maybe we'll do something like that. Anyway, I think it's the perfect time for two. Yeah, so. It's not super important, we'll come back to that. That's pretty much all I need is uh, hook up plastic coming out, and then I also need to set up sulfur. Anyway, we've got the oil coming in here. That'll go down this pipeline. Slow manifold all the way down. Got the patterns everywhere. Put in these uh, beams for power. Uh, got the polymer resin coming out. Heavy oil residue piped in. We've got uh, one buffer there, a second here. These feed petroleum coke down there. And then I've got the lines merging for the heavy oil residue to go upstairs. Petroleum coke lifts out. I did put power switches on each little section. So we'll try to kind of tap into those separately. Uh, and then we got the diluted fuel. So the water comes in here. I may have to add one more pump. We'll see how it goes. I didn't realize this was twisted. That's going to bother me. Oh well. It might just have to be that way. Because uh, I'm too lazy to change this again. We've done this a couple times. Kind of need some space there. Got our watercolor. I guess this is just off center, huh? Whatever. I'm not going to care. That comes up here. I got a junction here. It splits and goes down. That feeds the diluted fuel blenders. The rest comes here, goes down, feeds the plastic. Um, we got some wall 
wall holes for those. Got these organized in here against the wall. Colored, hooked up. Got our diluted fuel coming out this end. I added a beam and some billboards just for some lighting down here. This comes out there. Goes straight into a buffer. And then that heads off there into another buffer down at the end. Kind of designed a little building for these blenders. I don't think I finished everything. We got too much junk on us apparently. Um, this power hooks up to a thing out there. There's a switch box down at the bottom. Just did some glass walls, a couple one meter found walls up there. So there's that. And here's our line, which I might actually move this over further. Thinking about doing a few more s power storage, and I kind of want to keep them on the blueprints here. I might do one there, and then one here. I don't think we can do one there with this, but I don't know. This is pretty much fine for now. I'm going to wait to do more. These will both go upstairs from here. Fuel, heavy oil residue. Petroleum coke uh, comes down this line, goes up a lift here right into this. We'll take that upstairs. And then we still need to set up, uh, bring in some sulfur in, so. I think I must have deleted that. Let's see. So yeah, I think this floor height will be good. It gives us uh, enough room above everything here. We'll get rid of that. So that's how we're looking currently. Then I may uh, delete out some of these pads. I need to figure out the arrangement for all the blenders here. We'll probably want to leave uh, this spot for bringing everything up. I figured this was kind of in the center. Seemed like a good area to collect it all. So I'll probably do something similar to this for the uh, sulfur around here. And that's where we're at currently. So, some progress. We still need to get like the corners. Try to recreate it like we did, did for that one there. Um, and then I did have these blueprints we made for the Well, I made this too. I don't think I showed you this. This will just be like... I can use this like the uh, train toppers where I could put the big beam under it. I don't can quite tell there how it's... Uh, let's try this. Let's delete that. So then our blueprint for the train pillar should work. Work nicely on these also. And then we can just plop them. Um, towers on top of these. So. Not super exciting, but I wanted to make something look a little nice. I'm kind of trying to start making things look a little bit better than the just put it down like I have everywhere else. So we might use this. I want to get power here and start charging this bank. And, uh, I don't know. We've got some towers here we could probably pull it across from. We may end up using one of these. So that's how those will look from far away. Something like that. Anyway, that's my update for you. Do have a bit of uh, I like this. This looks cool with all the. This is just kind of in the way, to be honest. But we're not needing any of this space, so it doesn't matter. We're going up from here. So that's the progress we've made. 
Doesn't look like a ton, but it's been a lot of time designing all this out, so. I think I'll finish uh, laying this floor out. And then we might. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to show was the. Uh... What do we have for these? So I don't have a floor on these. So that's perfect to lay out all the uh, pads. So I'll need 17 of these. Um, I think I think our pad is seven by seven of the four by fours. Two, three, four, five. It's a little too far. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. And then one, two, three. I'm pretty sure this is going to be seven also. Three, four, nope, five, six, seven. Yeah, so it is a square. I think we brought this out a little further here to make it square, so. And I'll probably want to come here, cut some hole, just leave some holes to remind me if we need to send things up here. I don't know. Let's do it like that. It'll just help look down and line things up. So, all right. Well, that's the other thing we're gonna need is. I guess I can delete the one up there. We'll still need 16 more, so that's a ton of stuff. I think we have it all, it's just a matter of getting it over here. So, I'm pretty happy. Oh my gosh. With the progress we've made. And then I'll probably do these type of corners on all four. And finish wrapping around this kind of decorative stuff. I have, yeah, I'll probably do that steel on the inside too, I think, the little ramps, ramp walls, so that's how far we've made it, I was kind of thinking maybe glassing in the uh, water area too, but I don't know, it's kind of, unless I make another thing here that then it may work, but I forgot we were gonna do this. There's some way around here. Do have most of the wiring hooked up, but not all the way, so. Anyway, our next step is all these. And sulfur. Those are the two main things we're going to need. And then we'll deal with all the massive amount of fuel generators and place for those later. Um, I really would like to grab power and get this battery bank going too, so that might be something we do soon. Anyway, just late. I'm calling it a night here, so I'll play. Can we focus when I play again next time? remember what I was doing here. Okay, we'll see you later.